Sam. Well, late this afternoon, a federal judge cleared the path for the city of Minneapolis to evict the people living in a South Minneapolis encampment. The sweep is scheduled for tomorrow. Our Corin Hoggard is live for us at the courthouse with the judge's ruling and what this really means for the people who have to move. Corin. Amy and Kelsey, that ruling came down about an hour ago, and it means the city can clear out Camp Minakasi tomorrow morning. Where its remaining residents will go next is still unknown. A campfire still burns, but bulldozers and garbage trucks are scheduled to clear Camp Nenakasi Thursday. About 150 people call the camp home as of Wednesday morning. Hennepin County's dashboard notes they have 54 open shelter beds, so they appear to be short of space for about 100 of the camp's residents. And almost all of the available space is only available for one night. We need long-term solutions, and we need a facility that we can heal our people through culture and our traditional ways. In four months, more than 100 people have moved from the camp to more permanent housing, and their attorneys credit camp leaders and the Hennepin County social workers who visit the camp every day to provide services. But residents say city employees rarely come, and Mayor Jacob Fry has never been there. His office had no comment in light of the lawsuit, but the city issued a press release saying in part, quote, all of our encampment members deserve safe and dignified housing. An encampment, especially in winter, does not provide that. Additionally, the city must address the ongoing public health and safety issues like a recent homicide at the encampment and the death of an infant, end quote. They say they've gotten more than 100 911 calls about the camp in the last four months. But residents say they feel very safe and stable at Nenokasi, and Nicole Mason encourages them to pursue sobriety, employment, and permanent housing. I've never seen a, a place like, like, like this with the foundation that they have with thinking about the next step. Now both sides agree that the camp is not a permanent solution, but they disagree about how and when to move forward. Eight of Minneapolis's 13 city council members have said the evictions should hold off until at least late February, but it looks like the mayor will get his way and it'll go forward tomorrow. Live at the federal courthouse, Corin Hoggard, Fox 9. All right, Corin, thank you. Just